Hi, my name is Stefan, and today I'm excited to show you how you can control Mimo Live using any iPad, Android tablet, or PC that has a browser installed. To show you the capabilities of Mimo Live, I have built a little studio with two cameras that are connected to my machine and a nice little scene that we can do some news coverage on. This is the document in Mimo Live that we are using. It has a video switcher with a generic news globe, a close-up shot of our reporter, a helicopter cam of the scene, a news crawler with different texts we can display for different stories, and also a station logo that we can display on the top right of the screen. To enable remote access, go to Mimo Live, Preferences, Remote Control, and make sure that this checkbox is set. Mimo Live will then show two URLs that you can use to access the remote controls. On your iPad, make sure that you're connected to the same network as your Mac, open Safari, and go to the URL that was shown in Mimo Live. When the application is loaded, you will be presented with a list of all the documents in Mimo Live you can control. We will select it and will then be prompted to create a new control surface. This one we will call News Coverage. The application allows you to create even larger canvases than it recommends. So this way we are presented with a large grid we can fit many buttons on. To get started, in the preset chooser on the left, we select the video switcher and are presented with different presets we can use. For example, I will now drag this complex setup where I will have it. And I can now see that our sources are updated in real time from our document. We will add some more functionality, for example, the station logo. I will drag the station logo setting to the top right. For our news crawler, since we have different variants, there is an all variant setting that contains all the variants present in the document. And to round this up, I will add a start show and a stop show button to start and stop recording of our document. The last thing we need to do is to enter live mode on the top right. And now we are able to control our Mimo Live document. To get the show started, we will switch to the news globe first. This is a good starting point for our show, right? So I will hit the Start Show button, and now we can see MimoLive counting up the seconds on the top of the screen. First, we want to go to our news reporter in the field. And since he is reporting on the disaster that is happening right now in our city here, we can display the news crawler with the res regarding text. While he is doing his report, we can show the news station logo on the top right. Once he's done, we can switch to our helicopter view that gives us a good overview and also display the appropriate text. Now, when our new show is done, we can step by step hide all the features we enabled in the first place and then slowly go back to our news globe. Another great feature of Mimo Live Remote Controls is that you can split the controls across multiple devices. This way, multiple people can control the same document and share the tasks. For example, one person can operate the camera while another one operates the lower thirds. I hope I was able to give you an impression on how easy it is to control Mimo Live with the custom UI you built for yourself. Many layers in Mimo Live already have a preset so you can get started really quickly. We at Bank Software are really looking forward to enabling the use of Mimo Live in more situations than before. If you have any comments or questions regarding this software, please reach out to us on boinks.com. Thank you for watching.